Hello everyone! Uh, welcome back to my channel. First of all, I'm going for a look. I'm channeling Tiana Taylor. Let me know if you get the vibe. I'm going to Vancouver. So welcome to my Vancouver vlog. A lot of things around me are in shambles. I'm really excited to leave this country leave this country leave this city and have a change of scenery right now i'm actually not even done packing my flight is at like 7 45 it is 11 30 my bag is right there and yeah i have my face shield and bear masks in my bag i have to make sure everything i have with me is under 100 milliliters they'll literally dash your stuff they don't care i'm gonna finish packing and yeah Oh shit, it's 4.25. Shit, we have to go. It's 4.30. Hmm? We have to go. Oh my god, guys, look at this. <laughs> really? It beats. <laughs> All dress, beautiful veggies for hell, banana, chocolate smoothie. Are you in there? Sorry, gonna move now. Oops, oops, oops. We finally made it, guys. We just picked up a car. Oh man, it feels so good to breathe. Ooh, look at the mountain! You can't see it, but in person, like these mountains are huge. I just wanna bathe. I feel so dirty. I feel like I stink. Let me give you a tour of the place. It's so cute. Okay, let me start at the door. We need to take a quick break so I can tell you guys about today's sponsor, AudioMac. AudioMac is a music discovery platform that makes it super easy to find new music through curated playlists and an easy to use app. They have like the huge trending artists that we all know, you know, like Burna Boy, Bad Bunny. Um, but then they also have a lot of smaller artists that you might not have come across on your own if it wasn't in a playlist that was made for you. Not to mention, they're also constantly updating the app, so you always get the newest artists and the most trending songs right on time in real time. I started using and exploring the app while I was in Vancouver, and I really liked how they let me listen offline for free. And audio map works differently than other streaming platforms. You can actually leave comments under podcasts and the music that you're listening to and actually engage with the people who you listen to. They even have a re-up, which is kind of like a retweet or like a light equivalent, and it lets you just let that artist, let that podcaster know that you're engaging and you're enjoying what you're listening to. And even from an artist's point of view, like if I was an artist and I could actually see more than just numbers, like as in streams, that would make me feel a lot closer to my audience. But I think my favorite feature on the app is the curated playlist. I love finding new artists that I would not, because I, because I don't, I'm not good at exploring music myself. I can't find the little artists that have like really great songs. But if it's in a playlist that I'm already listening to, and then I'm like, especially while I'm driving and like listening, and I'll be like, oh, who's that? And I'm like, oh, I've never heard of this person. I just love that. Like, and right now because it's March, it's Women's Month. Audio Mac made tons of playlists filled with just amazing female artists, ones that are super famous, ones that I've never heard of. So if you guys are looking for a new way to enjoy the music you love and also discover new music, new artists, engage with these smaller artists and let them know how you feel, I would really recommend trying Audio Mac. Thank you so much to Audio Mac for sponsoring this video. Now back to the Vancouver vlog. So this is the entrance. Then you come into the kitchen bathroom in there thank you lucas cute living room lock situation with the stairs washer dryer look at this cute little staircase and there's so much natural light in here cozy little bedroom setup and you can look down that's such a cute spot for a picture too so listen here guys i've made a decision this video is gonna be a food diary of vancouver the reason we're here is to eat and like i feel like that's why we're most excited Obviously, we're very excited to take a break from Toronto and like just take a breather because like, you know, it's been a lot of the same over and over again. So I'm going to unpack. We're eating noodles tonight. Oh, yeah. I have not seen one black person here. How long have we been here? Like two, three hours? Deadass, not one black person. Huh? 
Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. We saw one Somali woman, but that's it. And she was at the airport. Um, since then, I've only seen white and Asian people, but that also gets me really excited for the food that we're gonna eat. Is it bad to say like there's a lot of Asians here? There is, right? It's not bad, right? Period. I'm really excited to eat Asian food. I want noodles and dim sum. It's gonna be so good! I'll see you guys when it's time to eat. Bye! First place we're gonna eat, we're gonna have ramen. Oh my no. god. What is it? Noodles. Chinese noodles? Sorry. We're gonna have Chinese noodles at a place called Number One Beef Noodle. It has like 4.6 stars out of like a thousand reviews. Guys, I'm not like, I can't believe we're gonna eat in a restaurant. You know? It's been so long! When's the last time we ate in a restaurant? <sighs> like, my mouth is already watering. I'm so hungry. We didn't eat today. He didn't, right. he didn't eat since yesterday, years. literally. I had a bag of chips and a smoothie. That's what I had, but. You've arrived at your destination. Where? There she is. Great service, go and wait. Hi. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. So good. We're gonna rate every meal we have. This was an eight, but we both agreed mine was better. <laughs> I don't wanna say 10, cause like I don't, 10 is not very high, but like these meals were perfect. I, I wanna say this is 10 out of 10 for me. Like I would eat this like again and again. My mind is blown. So yeah, number one beef noodle. So good. See you at dessert. to get bubble waffle. I got a cheesecake bubble waffle and Lucas got chocolate bubble waffle. So let's try it. Pretty good. Mm, I'll give this a seven. Seven? Seven? Let me try this. I think they overcooked it. Mm -hmm. I literally can't tell the difference between yours and mine. I'll give it a six and a half just because I've had so many better bubble waffles. All right, bye. He wants to play this <laughs> game. Okay, do one. What flag is this, guys? But flip it around. Italy. No. It's orange, dude. Oh. Wait, Italy's red, right? I think it's either Ivory Coast or Ireland. Ireland. It's Ireland. Anyway. Guys, can you guess this one? It's pretty easy. Switzerland? You love saying Switzerland. You'll never guess Switzerland. This is Poland. That's close, though, right? <laughs> I'm kind of upset at this. I don't like it. Yeah, it's overcooked. I mean, whatever. Nigeria. No. I know this one. The African country. Ivory Coast. No. Gabon. Gabon. Geography was my worst subject. I was Our never it was, I was never good at geography. Oh, it's time to listen to the murder podcast. Okay, see you guys. Good morning. We are gonna be eating a lot today. I'm just gonna get coffee right now. Then we're gonna go on a little walk because we really came to Vancouver just to like chill from Toronto city life blah 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 you know so we're gonna get some breakfast right now we're saying that we want something sweet like waffles and like pancakes with like whipped cream and fruit we might want something more savory later on so like I don't know we'll see as the day goes how we're feeling I'm already ready let me show this to you I don't know if I showed this on YouTube yet this is from SK Toronto owned brand very cute it's actually so comfortable and the quality is amazing so we're gonna go Lucas you want to say hi you don't want to say hi gonna get ready I'm gonna put some film in our camera bagels for breakfast bagels for breakfast shout out Musa for finding this place actually he suggested it so I love bagels They're actually one of my favorite foods so let's go get some bagels I give that bagel seven. It was a rosemary sea salt bagel. So like the bagel had rosemary in it and that was really good. Solid bagel, seven, not bad. Hi, it's time for dinner. We are at, what's this place called? Zakushi, Japanese yakitori ezekaya. So it's Japanese tapas and yeah, we're gonna eat.
so far, 9 out of 10, so good. Wow. Why? <laughs> you know why? It's because they treat the cows beautifully. Really? Yeah. They shower them with mist every like two minutes. What? It's crazy, yeah. My battery's gonna die, guys. When we get home, I'll give you the review. Good morning! It is day number three. I'm checking back in from last night. Camera died before I even got to show you everything. Like I haven't really ate tapas or like izakaya before. Like I, you know what I mean. So I thought I was gonna go there and I wasn't gonna be full, or I thought it was just gonna kind of be like a waste of money because we're only getting skewers and stuff. But it was so good. I think that was my favorite spot we've been to since we've been here. I give it a nine out of ten. Lucas, I think gives it a ten out of ten. Right? Oh, so good. We had wagyu. One wagyu skewer, by the way, was thirteen dollars, which is crazy. Like a Wagyu steak is like what four hundred dollars? Yeah. It's so expensive, but I understand it literally melts in your mouth like actually melts in your mouth So today it's breakfast time right now. It's oh, it's actually kind of late It's 10 o'clock and we're gonna go get some dim sum I prefer eating dim sum and like pho versus like pancakes and stuff It's just so comforting and so warm and then we're gonna go on the cliff walk and the stretch bridge I'll show you guys cuz I forgot what it was called also why did nobody tell me Vancouver has zero black people? It's been three days, we saw three. And the first one, I didn't even see it. Lucas pointed him out, I missed him. So really, I only saw two. Pretty crazy. I just posted saying there's no black people where I'm at and everyone knew I was in Vancouver. Everyone was like, you're in Vancouver, aren't you? Having a great time here, but like, we both said like we felt kind of out of place. Not like Toronto at all, where you can see, you know, a familiar face anywhere you go. So far, everyone's been very, very nice. Like, very nice. Um, they definitely all knew we're not from here, so they're, tr I guess, trying to make us feel welcome. But yeah, um, I'll see you guys at Dim Sum. I forgot to show you guys. This is the view from our rooftop. And then at nighttime, they have these lights, and you can come out here. So beautiful. I'm so full. These are mega giant sizes that they have here. Like the, the dim sum in Toronto is like bite size. I give this an 8 out of 10. What do you give it? 8.5? Walk on a cliff. Oh, I was mad at you. <laughs> we had a Japanese style hot dog. It had like seaweed and mayo on it. I was distracted so I didn't rate it. I mean, the hot dog, what do you give that? 8? I gave it a seven and a half. I didn't like it as much as you. So I'll see you guys at the cliff. <laughs> I don't feel it moving. Hello? You don't see the zoomie? Oh shit. It moves. <laughs> I'm out of breath. When I'm back, we're going to the gym. Me and you? Oh. This looks really cool. A chili lollipop and I need to try it, but they only sell it in bulk. I don't need all of that. If I find it, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna show you guys. <laughs> this is a tamarind lollipop. <laughs> this shit is gross. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a proper try. I'm gonna give it a proper try. Wait a second. Hmm, very weird. Wanna try some? Take a bite. What was what? Take a bite. Wait, take 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 that bite. Take take that bite. And chew it, chew it, chew it, chew it, chew it. No, no. <laughs> he spat it out so fast. <laughs> you have to let it be good. Why does this car smell like ass? You like it or not? No. I've decided I don't like it. Sorry, tamarind lollipop. Like some snacks, you have to grow up with them, and then you Maybe, like. Cause I see them eating it with like a mango drink. Really? Oh, like a straw? Kind of. Oh. Um. Good morning. Day four in BC, and we're gonna get some hand pulled noodles for breakfast. Look at the mountains, guys. Y'all see that? I feel like I can cry if I stare at them long enough. They spotted a mountain lion like 30 minutes away from here, and now we're gonna go on a hike. 
kind of scary, kind of terrifying. We are so unequipped if we ever were to come across a mountain lion or any type of wild animal that's bigger than like a big dog. Even a big dog is scary enough. Literally a giant mountain lion. Can you send me that link so I can put the picture of the, yeah, can you please send that? Literally 30 minutes from here. Where are we going? 30 minutes from here? Literally, right? <laughs> I just need to eat something. Maybe when I eat something, I'll be able to fight a mountain lion. Who knows? Um, But yeah, see you there. We'll let you know if we see any mountain lions. These are the best dan dan noodles I ever had. I want to say nine and a half. Are these the best you've ever had? And we're getting sushi later on today, right? <laughs> See you guys when we get some sushi. Huh? Did we rate the sushi? I didn't even bring them to sushi yesterday. Isn't that crazy? I'm so rude and selfish. Good morning. It's day five, right? Day five? Day five. This week just flew by. I look like this because outside, like, it has been raining. It's pretty gloomy in Vancouver. I don't mind though, I literally mentally prepared that, like I told myself, you are gonna be in the Twilight movie. So yesterday we went and had sushi, we had to eat Japanese food uh, while we were here. Even just the regular maki was like mind blowing, like I didn't understand why it was melting in my mouth, it was pretty cool. I give that place a nine out of 10, honestly, that was really, really delicious. What do you give it? Nine. Nine, so two nines out of 10, that was really good. I would eat sushi again, would you? Yeah. Oh yeah. So maybe we'll have sushi again before we leave? Oh yeah, so we're going to breakfast now. We've been eating a lot of like noodles and stuff So I was really feeling like something sweet like very traditional, you know Western breakfast pancakes maple syrup and bananas and whipped cream That's really what I want right now. So we're going to the jam cafe and yeah I'll sh I'll sh <laughs> Oh my god <laughs> So we decided to get some massages. We had some time, like we weren't really doing anything. We just decided to go to the Wedgwood Spa and it is so fancy. <laughs> Such a luxurious day today. We ate, now we're getting massages. Amazing. <laughs> Hello everyone. I don't even know. Oh, it's still day five, still day five. So right now we are at about to eat tacos. You know what? If there's a place I don't like, I'm gonna show you, but I'm just not gonna tell you where it is because I don't wanna be rude, you know? Overall rating five out of ten. Vancouverians. Come to Toronto and eat some tacos. Hello guys, it is the last day in Vancouver, so we're going to be eating as much as we can in Vancouver. Um we're gonna eat some Dan Dan noodles. It's 9.30 a.m. Um, and we just finished packing our stuff and we're leaving now. We're thinking of getting something to eat, but we ate so much Korean barbecue yesterday, like we're both still full from that. Uh, we might get some breakfast. We're going to the airport right now. I'll check in with you guys at the airport. Flight 101 oh, with service 